Yeah, the Ministry Maps project is uh, an important project for the Red Cross because it helps us to, uh, to find the most vulnerable people in the world. There are many places in the world where we don't have any clue of where people live. Uh, and that makes it difficult for us to, to provide them with, with humanitarian aid when it's needed. What we do here tonight is we map, let's say, uh, on the basis of satellite photos, we map uh, buildings and roads. And uh, what we do here uh, tonight will be validated by very experienced people from the Red Cross. And in the end, these maps are used already next week in the field. And in the field, this data is enriched. Uh, uh, for example, what type of building it is. We, uh, tonight we only indicate that it is a building, uh, but in the field they will indicate that it is, for example, a church or a hospital, and uh, let's say all the kinds of um, functions buildings can have. We map uh, an area in uh, Malawi uh, that is uh, flooded uh, uh, last year, and uh, well, we want to know exactly who is affected, what buildings are affected uh, by. Uh, the floodings. Um, so, and that is for the uh, NGOs like the Red Cross important to know so that they can actually adjust their, uh, well, the necessity and the needs uh, that they will bring there uh, in the area. And they are going to Malawi next week. Uh, so, for them, it is very important to exactly know, um, well, how the area is, uh, what, uh, who is affected, what is affected, and what people need there. Immediately they can uh, start to look at the digital maps and indicate which areas are flooded, so also which road cannot be accessed anymore. And uh, once you know that, you know uh, probably the roads, how to drive. Uh, and that means simply that you save a lot of time in reaching the people who uh, need help. Last year we had about uh, 2,000 people who contributed through events like this one. Today we have about 60 people, I think, together. Uh, people from the university, people from uh, the Red Cross volunteer network. And uh, yeah, I think it's really great that, that people with, with no knowledge of mapping can still, through the easy tools that we have, contribute to building this map. Because uh, I'm doing a master here and then we receive an email, uh, all the people in the program, that this project was, uh, was uh, about to be done today and so I decided to join. Oh, I think it's a re very good initiative. And then the fact that anybody can do it just on a computer, either uh, in, a, in a library or at a home, I think it's really convenient. And it can, I guess it can bring a lot more people than expected. So I think it's a really good thing to do. The Red Cross is in the lead uh, and uh, they are actually doing partnerships with uh, all kinds of organizations but also companies and uh, also our university and since it perfectly fits in our program for the Data Science for Humanitarian Innovation we are very happy to have this collaboration with the Red Cross.